Alright, what's up again? Um, this time, as you can see, this is The Sims 3. Um, I'm going to be running The Sims 3 for you on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, someone requested that, well, they asked me how it, how I thought it was going to run, and I said it would be fine, but I also told them I'd upload a video of it. Um, it's defaulted to 1024 by 768, but I think the graphics can handle uh, more. So let's change it to the native resolution. And if you're curious on why I change it to the native resolution, um, it looks a lot um, crisper. It looks more clear. It's cleaner. So it's more aesthetically pleasing and I mean if it doesn't affect the laptop negatively in any way, why not have it on, right? Now again, um, one thing that is kind of irking me is the long load times, but what's long for me may not be long for you. Let's call this guy Bob Saget. Ooh. What is that? Oh yeah. Oh my god. This guy is a total bro. He knows what's going on. No, no. Let's make this guy crazy. Oh my god, oh, yay, stop it. Oh, apparently I can't click that out. And I should not have clicked that. Oh shoot. Note yourself, if you accidentally click on the randomize, if you press Ctrl Z, it reverts back. I did not know that. Would you have someone who's neurotic be your surgeon?
sure I don't like this. There we go. Alright, what is it? This keyboard's different, so... If only we could solve our financial situations by just typing in the cheat code. I think we'd all be pretty well off. Let's see, there we go. Um, as you can see, it runs without any problems. You could probably turn it up a little higher and it'd still be fine. This is always the fun part, this is decorating. I don't know about you guys. There's no bathroom in this house? Okay, there we go. But a uh, quick and simple answer, yes, this does, um, well the MacBook Pro 13 inch can run The Sims as you can see, well Sims 3 just fine. I don't think a lot needs to be said. Um, I'm pretty happy with the performance. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we've come a long way, a really long way, um, in terms of integrated graphics performance because that's a huge mirror. Um, I mean, my first laptop, it, uh, again, it played Wolfenstein, well, it played, uh, Return Castle Wolfenstein at 640 by 480, and it was just terrible. Um, I don't even know how I played games on that thing, but why can't I? It seemed to be, like, challenged. I'll just do that. Um, anyway, back to Wolfenstein, um, yeah, I ran out of the settings, and it got, like, five frames per second, which was always awesome, and this is running games just fine at its native resolution. It's not too taxing on the graphics, it seems, um, Battlefield 3, you can hear the fan big time, but I don't think so for this. No, you can. Never mind. I take that back.
a dog. I heard you like computer games, so we put a game in your game so you can play while you play. Zoom out performance, um, very good. This guy's so rich, he's gonna buy the pool. No. Where are you going? Come back. He's having tons of fun, right? He's swimming with his clothes. Right. And... No sense will be complete without... Oh, you can't do that, can you? Oh my god, this tutorial system is so stupid. Alright, well I was going to remove the ladders, but... Apparently you can't do that even though you own the pool. Hmm, this is weird. It pauses intermittently. Do you like always win or something? Alright, well... I guess that's it. Um, it does run The Sims 3 very well. Thanks for watching. I just exited The Sims 3 and... 
I forgot to add this to the video, but I'll do this very quickly. I was kind of curious to see how um, hot the MacBook ran, but um, apparently Apple thinks this is acceptable. It's 104 degrees Celsius. You can boil water with this thing. Um, that's really hot, but I guess they think it's all right. Um, CPU temperature is 87 degrees Celsius. The core is at 105. Um, yeah, fun stuff.